The effort to revive the health care bill is being led by Vice President Mike Pence. It's a key test for President Trump, who abandoned his first effort on health care when conservative lawmakers refused to support the bill. They're friends of mine. I'm disappointed because we could have had it. Uh, so I'm disappointed. Trump later blasted congressional conservatives via Twitter and vowed to fight them in next year's midterm elections. Trump has also raised the possibility of turning to Democrats if some Republicans continue to oppose him. If they got together with us and got a real health care bill, I'd be totally open to it, and I think that's going to happen. But and Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer Senate. is skeptical. So Trump is going to have problems until he learns that the only way to get things done in this place, even though he has the majority in the House and Senate, is in a bipartisan way. If he doesn't, his presidency will be a disaster. Conservatives insist they will stick to their principle of minimal government involvement in health care, no matter what pressure comes from the president, says Republican Congressman Mark Sanford. Do we need to lower the bar in what we believe as conservatives simply because a Republican is now in the White House? Trump's focus on catering to his political base and working around Democrats could limit his success, says analyst William Galston. (laughs) Mr. Trump's problem was that he started off with a divided electorate and relatively low approval ratings, and they have bumped up and down, but appear to be on a downward path now, and this will make his job of governing more difficult. Conservatives could also limit Trump's ability to work with Democrats, says Republican strategist John Fury. This is going to be a challenge for him. If he, if he makes the Democrats the enemy, it's going to be very difficult for him to get anything done. Even as Trump hopes to revive the health care effort, he finds himself walking a fine line between pleasing his conservative base and reaching out to moderate Republicans and perhaps even some Democrats. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.